Hello friends, with this video we start a new series of videos about UPSC optional psychology and in this particular video we are going to talk about the unit 1 of paper 1 of psychology and in this video we are going to talk about the syllabus of unit 1 paper 1 of psychology. So we will divide this syllabus, further divide this syllabus and make a micro syllabus so that we do not miss any topic. So this is the actual syllabus which is given in the UPSC notification and let us divide this syllabus and get a micro syllabus out of it, get a very detailed syllabus out of it. So let us start. So the first topic here is the definition of psychology and in this we are going to look at different definitions of psychologies and this is not a very big topic okay as such. The next we come to historical antecedents in psychology and in this we are going to look at so in historical antecedents we are going to look at the contributions made by different philosophers, the contributions made by different scientists and different physiologists to the field of psychology. We are going to start with Hippocrates and see what were the contributions made by Hippocrates to the field of psychology. Then we'll see what were the contributions made by Socrates, what were the contributions made by Plato, then Aristotle. So this is not going to be, uh, you know, in very much detail, but a brief account of their contributions to the field of psychology. We are going to look at the contributions made by Descartes, by August Comte, by Immanuel Kant by John Locke, by uh, Hume, uh, contributions made by Weber, contributions made by Fechner and probably a few other people. So this is not going to be a very huge topic. We can cover this in probably a 30-40 minutes video. Then we are going to look at the different perspectives that has uh, that have emerged in the field of psychology. So these are the perspectives of different psychologists and this is how different psychologists wanted to look at psychology. It is their perspective to psychology. So the first, if I write here the heading perspectives in psychology, perspectives in psychology. So the first one would be structuralism, structuralism, where the psychologist said that we should study the structure of mind okay in the field of psychology the second one was functionalism we are going to deal with each one of them in greater detail third one we can write behaviorism behaviorism then we can write fourth one biological perspective biological perspective we can write the fifth one as psychoanalysis which is a very famous perspective by Freud psychoanalysis the sixth one we can write humanistic perspective humanistic perspective in this chain of perspectives we are also going to study the gestalt school of psychology in brief we are also going to study the gestalt school of psychology in brief then we are going to look at so this will complete the historical antecedents of psychology and then we are going to look at the trends in the 21st century trends in psychology in 21st century and here we are going to cover topics such as multicultural perspective multicultural perspective a very interesting topic also important from the point of view of ethics we are also going to look at positive psychology a field of psychology which has emerged in just the last 20-30 years then we are also going to look at evolutionary psychology we are going to look at some other disciplines such as cognitive neuroscience we are going to look at cognitive science with major focus on cognitive neuroscience then the next topic is psychology and the scientific methods here we are going to understand that what is a science what is a science 
or we can say that we will understand what is the difference between a natural science such as physics, chemistry, biology and a social science. And where does psychology stand? Whether psychology is a natural science or psychology is a social science or where does it stand in between these two is something that we are going to cover in psychology and scientific methods. We are going to see what makes psychology more oriented towards science. What are the scientific methods which are utilized in psychology? We are also going to understand in, in the next heading, we will see that the next heading is psychology in relation to other social sciences and natural sciences. So we are also going to understand the relationship of psychology with natural sciences such as biology. What is the relationship of psychology with biology? What is the relationship of psychology with physics? What is the relationship of psychology with chemistry? In the same way, we are going to look at the relationship of psychology with social sciences such as history. The relationship of psychology with political science. The relationship of psychology with anthropology. Sociology. And the relationship of psychology with economics. The relationship of psychology with economics. So these are the disciplines which we are going to study. And focus on what contributes how these disciplines contribute to psychology and how psychology has contributed to these disciplines. Then we are going to look at the application of psychology in the societal problems. So we are going to see that what are the different societal problems and how different branches of psychology, they help us in resolving those societal problems. They help us in resolving those societal problems. So first we are going to look at clinical psychology. Clinical psychology and we'll understand what is the difference between a clinical psychologist and a psychiatrist? Let me shift it here. So we are going to understand the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist. We are going to understand how community problems can be solved with the use of psychology. We are also going to look into the field of social psychology. Then we will also look into school and educational psychology. The contributions that psychology can make in the field of schools, in the field of education. How we can form a better, pol better policy if we have psychology experts in, in the team. We are going to look at political psychology. We are going to look at political psychology. We are also going to look at engineering psychology. We are going to look at engineering psychology, military psychology. We are going to look at very important uh, branch of psychology, organizational psychology. Something that is very important also from the governance point of view organizational psychology and probably a few other disciplines so friends this ends this video this is the micro syllabus of unit one paper one of psychology the type down notes of this micro syllabus are available in the description of the video if you have any questions queries or you want to add something please mention it down in the comments thanks a lot